Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, in this video, I am gonna share with you 24 items that I sold for $100 or more on Mercari. So these are basically my best sales on Mercari. Uh, one thing that I see a lot is people saying, things on Mercari don't sell for as much. People on Mercari are cheap. If you list the right item, people will pay for it. So I'm going to show you some of my $100 or more sales on Mercari. Um, these items were cross-posted on Poshmark and eBay. I cross-post everything. Um, I feel like I'm getting some feedback, so I apologize if I am. I'm trying to sit in a different area, hoping it'll help, but um, I don't know. So I apologize if there's like, I don't know, feedback or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I cross post everything to Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. These items sold faster on Mercari. I use a extension called List Perfectly. If you're interested in checking that out, I have several videos on how that works. Um, at the end of the video, it'll pop up, and then I also have a link in the description that'll tell you how to do it. So um, let me get my screen share up here. And if you use coupon code BOLO BUDDIES, that is my referral code that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. But you guys definitely check it out. Okay, so the first item I sold for $100 or more on Mercari is this Patagonia jacket. And let me just confirm. Yep, it came up. Uh, this Patagonia jacket, this was actually given to my husband, and they were going to just get rid of it so this was a freebie for me and it sold for a hundred dollars with free shipping and at the time this sold um mercari was only taking 10 percent. they do take a little more now they take a processing fee um let's see what was i gonna say about this these these are my best sales to date so some of these are older like this one sold six months ago all right, the next item I sold is this vintage Halloween, I think it's pronounced Golfa, Large Witch. And see, this one sold over a year ago. But I am sharing with you my best Mercari sales. So if you guys watch my channel regularly, some of these you may remember. But this was super cool. And I honestly, I can't remember where I got it. But um, I typically get my stuff pretty cheap. But I sold this gal for $100 and free shipping, and I just stuffed it in a poly mailer, and it wasn't too bad, actually. The next item I sold was something for my husband. This is a watch band. It is beautiful. And um, he sold this for $100 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Ralph Lauren down jacket. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. It was a retail arbitrage. I don't remember what I paid for it. It's probably in another video. Um, it's been seven months ago that I sold it. But yeah, $100 for that. And the buyer paid shipping on this one. The next item I sold, this is a recent one. This one, um, gosh, it was, I think it sold within 24 hours or 48 hours. This was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. And I never do Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, I'm going to get on Facebook. and. I found somebody that was cleaning out their toys and somebody bought this and they left me feedback and it's for their grandchild. So super cute. This sold for a hundred dollars. I did pay the shipping and, um, it was a bulk buy. So I can't tell you how much I'm going to guess around $10 in this one. The next item I sold was this bundle of four outfits, size 4T. I picked these up at a store called Gabriel Brothers. I paid between $5 and $7 for each set, and they were all the same size. I had them listed separately, and I believe somebody asked me to bundle them. I think that's how that went. So I went ahead and created a bundle, did $100 with free shipping. The next item I sold is this Playmobil Egyptian playset. I believe this was um, given to me by my sister, um, and I sold this for $100. It was, I, I don't think it's, complete like there were things missing but there was still like a lot of really like the horse or those horses or camels camels here's a horse you know it had enough and it's a vintage set and this sold for a hundred dollars free shipping 
The next item I sold was a lot of watch parts and movements. My husband gave me this. He said he didn't want to mess with it. So I listed it in a lot and it was actually two separate sets and somebody asked me to bundle, but my husband said, here you go. And I said, okay. So all of these sold for a hundred dollars with free shipping. The next item I sold are these cats meow village pieces. There's 21 here. And I took, um, I sold these for a hundred dollars with free shipping. And I believe I put these in a flat rate box if I remember correctly. But um, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I got three huge boxes of cat's meow stuff for like $30. It was a fantastic deal. So um, I really, really did well with this lot. The next item I sold is this 12 pounds of wearable jewelry. And I will tell you that I listed these items at the right time because it was kind of when everybody was locked down and quarantined and people needed inventory. So um, the, I don't remember which month it was, but I sold like three or four lots of jewelry like this. And it was all wearable, vintage to now. And then I'm sure people bought it and listed it. I just didn't have time. So this sold for $128 with free shipping. And I put this in a large flat rate box and shipped it. So as you can see, most of my items are free shipping. So the shipping costs are coming out of my profits and so are the fees. The next item I sold, here's another 12 pound lot. This one sold for 102 with free shipping. This is a Simpsons bundle. Somebody wanted this one, this one, and this one. And I bundled them together for $120 with free shipping. And this was another huge box of Simpsons stuff. I think it was a uh, two boxes full of just Simpsons. And I have done really, really well with these figures. Um, you'll see them in my videos. I sell them on eBay. I sell, I think I've even sold, I think I've sold some of my Simpson stuff on Poshmark also. The next item I sold are these Disney learning work workbooks. These came from the dollar store. And if you want to check that out, I have a video on this flip where I got it, what I paid for it, how it worked out for me. So definitely go check out that video. It's, I think it's called like my dollar store flip or something like that. I sold these for $120 with free shipping. And the next item I sold again, whoops, somebody asked me to bundle um, four pair, five pair, five pair of pants. I have about $3 each approximately. Um, I usually kind of, um, round up or down to make it an even number. So um, I, I sold these for $125 with free shipping. And again, these were a retail arbitrage pickup. I used to do tons of clothes, not really my thing anymore. The next item I sold are these bells. And I will tell you, they took forever to sell on eBay. Actually, they didn't sell on eBay, but I did list them on um, Mercari and they did sell for $125. Um, the buyer did pay shipping on these. I probably should have parted these out, but I didn't. And um, I, I can't remember what I paid for them. I picked them up at a garage sale altogether. I probably got a decent deal, but I feel like I may have overpaid a little bit for these. I still made money though. The next item I sold are these Lego friends. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale. I did put together some of the sets to sell individually. And it was so time consuming that I just gave up and I listed these as is. I don't know if everything's there. I bought them like that with them in the bags. So um, I made my money back on a couple of the other sets. So basically this ended up being all profit. The buyer did pay shipping on this and I sold all of this for $126. The next item I sold is another bag of jewelry for $128 free shipping, 12 pounds. And I think I have one lot that's bagged. Um, and then I think I have a crafter's lot also still available in my Mercari store. And the link's down below if anyone's interested. The next item I sold is this LPS Pet Shop playset. It's got a ton of stuff. And I think I had these listed separately and at, somebody asked me to bundle them. 
I sold all of this for $130 and the buyer paid the shipping. I pick this type of stuff up at garage sales all the time. I can't tell you exactly what I had in it because I get it really cheap at garage sales. And then this one, you can see I had it in um, separate bundles, but the person wanted all of them. The next item I sold is this vintage uh, Scream Mask Fun World Division. I think I sold this too low. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents, so I am extremely happy with a $150 sale, but some of these are going for three and $350, so um, I may have made a mistake on this one, so definitely be careful. Uh, it's the first generation or generation one that do really well. You're looking for fun world division on the bottom, like that, of the chin. Mine did have a little bit of a um, issue and needs sewn, but... Not a huge deal, but hey, I paid 50 cents for it. The next item I sold is this Harley Davidson leather jacket. Oh, I cannot, I know I got this at a garage sale. It did take a long time to sell. I will say that. I sold it for $152. Um, the buyer did pay the shipping on that. I don't remember um, what exactly I paid for this. I'm sorry. I think it's in one of my videos. The next item is an 18 pound of wearable vintage to now jewelry, 18 pounds for $153 free shipping. The next item, oh, and all of this jewelry came from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Um, I ended up getting 344 pounds of jewelry. And I have a video on that that tells you how I ended up getting so much jewelry all in one lot. It started with an eBay transaction. The next item is this uh, Department 56 Crinkles Sugar Plum Fairy. And I picked her up at a thrift store and she is so awesome. Um, I sold her for $156 with free shipping. And again, I can't remember what I ended up paying for her, but she is in one of my videos where I tell you um, what I paid for. I just can't remember right now. I'm going way back for this video. The next item I sold is this 1997, the Scarlet Pimpernel, I think is how you say it. I'm probably totally saying that wrong. It is autographed and I have some of these like email things. It's really, really cool. But um, I picked this up at an estate sale and it was in a drawer of uh, programs and all types of uh, ephemera from plays or what is that what the word plays like a play <laughs> or I think that's the word but they're uh, gosh I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of you guys put it in the comments Broadway Broadway that's the word but apparently um, this was the parents of somebody who was one of the cats so there was all of this stuff which is really really cool and this sold for $175 with free shipping and the last item is, let's see, let me think. I think this was the one. Yeah, there is a smoke odor to all items. Um, and I just put, I do not smoke, so I notice anything with a smoke smell. I picked these up at a garage sale. I got a really, really good deal on them. And because they smelled like smoke and I didn't know how to get the smoke smell out, I just sold all of them together and I figure maybe it's a reseller that was going to buy them and try to get that smell out of them. So they bought all four of, of these items for $220. Again, I think this was one where I had um, the items listed individually and somebody contacted me and asked me to bundle them. So definitely um, that's one awesome thing about Mercari is People can message you and say, hey, can you throw these items together? Can you bundle these for me? Um, yeah, Mercari is great. So there should be a video popping up on either side. It's um, there's a it's a list perfectly video. It's going to tell you how I cross post my items fast and easy. You know, it gets more eyes on your items. Definitely check it out, um, especially if you're manually cross posting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it'll save you so much time and time is money, you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I have Poshmark Bolo videos, what solds, 
eBay, what sold videos. I have my bread and butter series. I have category videos, lots and lots and lots of videos. So go check those out. It's a great way to learn and expand your knowledge so that you can find bolos when you're out looking. Thanks for watching.